Okay, this is part four in our series on vertebrate animals. Today we're talking about fish. Uh, again, fish belong in this group because they are vertebrate, which means that they have a backbone. There are over 25,000 different types of fish. Fish use gills. This is an important characteristic. I'm going to try to highlight some characteristics that you need to do this fish characteristic assignment. Obviously, the first one, backbone. So when it uses gills to get oxygen from the water, you have lungs, which uh, converts air, gets oxygen from the air. Fish use gills and get oxygen from water. Fish has fins to help it move. It has scales covering its body. They're aquatic, and if you've ever heard the aqua, aqua is water. Aquatic means that the fish live in water. All fish have to live in water. If you put a fish on land, it's essentially going to drown because gills convert water into oxygen. It has a lot to do. These two have a lot in common. And fish are cold-blooded, so everything you need for this assignment is on this uh, page right here. So pay attention to that. We'll come back to it later. You may want to write that down, and it'll help you complete that fish assignment. So let's talk a little bit more about fish. Two groups of fish... Um, here, and we'll talk about a third that's not included on this page, and I'll tell you more about it. Um, two groups of fish here. Bony fish. Bony fish have a skeleton with bones. All fish have backbone. Most fish have a skeleton made of bones. Um, those are your, you know, catfish, goldfish, stuff like that. The fish that you would normally see. Now, different types of fish are fish with a skeleton of cartilage. Now, I want you to feel the tip of your nose. That's cartilage. You can also feel the tops of your ears. That's cartilage as well. Well, sharks are cartilaginous fish. Cartilage bends easier than bone. Again, wiggle your nose. You can feel it. That's what sharks feel like. So there's cartilage fish. And then you've got your jawless fish, which are your lamprey eels. I'll find a picture here for you. So here's a picture of a jawless fish. It's an eel. It does not have a jaw. Not a pretty looking guy either, so these are jawless fish. Fish are cold blooded, which we've discussed before. That means again that their temperature changes with the environment. But keep in mind that not everything in the water is cold blooded. You've got dolphins and whales, you've got seals, sea lions. They live in the water as well, but they're mammals, so they're warm blooded. And they have lungs, so they, they don't they live in the water, but they also have to come up for air and they have a constant body temperature. So again, cold blooded means temperature changes with the environment. Um if it's twenty degrees in the water, that fish is probably twenty degrees. Okay. A fish has bulgy eyes on the side of its head, and each eye works for itself. You see these clownfish here, it does look like Nemo. Living in that sea, an enemy. Uh, a fish can see what's happening to each side without turning its head. That's an adaptation that helps that fish survive in its environment. Because fish has to be quick because some fish are really small. They can be eaten really quick. They need to be prepared. So, bulgy eyes on the side of the heads. Most fish swim by moving their tail from side to side. Which we discussed before goes side. Whoops. The fins here go side to side. Sorry about that. Side to side. Whereas mammals, dolphins, whales, they go up and down. These fish again go side to side. The, the fins are for steering and balance. And rays, these are the rays where the arrows are pointing, they move by flapping those large fins. Eels down here at the bottom, those jawless fish, they move by wiggling their long bodies. We breathe with lungs, which we've discussed before. That's what makes us mammals. Our lungs take oxygen out of the air we breathe. Fish breathe with gills. Now, the gills take oxygen out of water. So, again, the fish couldn't live on land because, like, we can't live in water. We drown. They would drown on land because they're not being able to get the oxygen that they need. So, fish have gills. Good characteristic. Bony fish have a swim bladder, which you can see here, 
What this swim bladder does, it, it's like a balloon inside the fish's body. And it helps that fish to keep from sinking when it's swimming. Uh, if it puts more air in it, it inflates. And it's going to go up. And if it takes the air out of that swim bladder, that's how that fish goes down. So you can tell maybe if a fish has swim bladder issues, if a fish is maybe going belly up a little bit or... Uh, having trouble controlling how high or low it is in the water that may be a swim bladder issue but again this is a real life picture of the swim bladder and what controls the fish um, from sinking and when it stops swimming in the water fish have scales much like reptiles had scales covering their body they use those scales for protection fish also have bones and a skeleton like the one you see below um, fins and tails help them swim forward and turn around and stop. Um, they can swim fast to escape their enemies and catch food. And fish eat other animals as food, so they can also be carnivores. They can be herbivores as well. Some would eat algae or anything else there, plant life in the water. And finish up really quick here, we'll talk about how fish help humans in many ways. Or, that we're, they're not only food for us, which you can see here if you go to Long John Silver's, Captain D's, you can get a good um, fish tray here. Uh, you, people use fish for fertilizers. People use fish for bait. Many people like to go fishing. Uh, some people take fish oil. It's good vitamin pills that help people um, feel better. So fish have many um, purposes and needs that, uh, that help humans. So, so to finish up, fish. Characteristics that you need to know to complete this assignment. Everything about fish. Fish have backbones. They're vertebrates. Two, fish have gills to get oxygen from the water. Three, fish has fins to help it move and they go side to side. Fish have scales covering the body. So, four. Five, fish are aquatic, fish are cold-blooded, that's six. So you have six characteristics for this assignment to display, so please make sure that you do such and use these characteristics. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to research on Google or send me your questions through Edmodo.